Harrison County Board of Education has voted on its school consolidation proposal. Five of the six being approved. Barbara Ron was at these meetings and she joins us live now here in the studio with the breakdown on this. Barbara. Dawn, about 100 community members were in, in attendance tonight, including the Clarksburg vice mayor. Of the six schools affected by the consolidation and merger proposals, the board voted for only Salem Elementary to keep its school. This was the moment Salem Elementary learned the school would no longer be a part of the consolidation plan presented last fall. Tensions were high at Tuesday's Harrison County Board of Education meeting where members voted to merge Liberty High School into Robert C. Byrd, to close and consolidate Washington Irving and Mountaineer Middle into Liberty's building, to close Northview Elementary and keep Salem Elementary as is. Board President Gary Hamrick suggested Northview Elementary students and staff be taken and placed in Mountaineer Middle's building in order to keep the community together. For our students and our community, I'm nervous for them. Um, as a PTA, we really wanted to keep the school in Northview. Um, but as a teacher, I am excited that we do keep, get to keep everyone together. Superintendent Dora Stutler told 12 News after the meeting the new Northview plan will be made official in the coming weeks. Ahead of the decision and in an effort to keep Northview Elementary in that neighborhood, Clarksburg Vice Mayor Jerry Riffle told the board he and the city office started to look and they have found multiple five-acre plots of land that would qualify as an area for a new Northview Elementary School. We want to stay in Northview, the community. Obviously, we don't have a say in that, but we can be a part of that. I think a good working relationship will, be, uh, will help but facilitate that. Although there was relief Salem got to keep its home, many parents like Janessa Thompson, whose son goes to Liberty, were frustrated. I'm feeling disappointed in our board. I don't think that they put enough effort into this decision. Thompson is part of a movement to let the board know if it voted yes for consolidation, the public would vote no on the levy. The school runs off of the levy, and for the funds to go through that school without the levy, they cannot run these schools. I spoke to Stutler after the vote, and she said she was happy Salem got to keep the school, but tomorrow is when all the work begins. Board President Gary Hamrick told the Salem community to think of this as the beginning and to grow and to continue to grow Salem. Live in the studio, Barbara Ron, 12 News.